Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator and in today's video we are checking out Flying Iron Simulations P-38 Lightning with the latest update. They released an update for the Spitfire that we checked out a few days ago and today hoping all goes well with the sim we're checking out the P-38 Lightning's update as well. So stick around because it's probably my favorite aircraft in the world. If you are interested in acquiring any of my Overkill's tutorial guides for Microsoft Flight Simulator please consider joining me on Patreon. Patreon subscribers level tier 2 and above have access to all of my guides as well as any future updates and future guides that will be coming down the road. Link to Patreon can be found in the description below. Alright, so right out of the gate here, um, the P-38 Lightning also received an update as I had previously mentioned, and there's quite a few uh, pretty awesome updates. We have uh, fixing of small bugs as well, um, just like with the Spitfire, improved sound, thermodynamics, and uh, the flying iron tablet, which we'll take a look at once we get in the cockpit here. Uh, they removed the uh, SU-7 Compass sticker that was uh, there before. The uh, overhaul of the AI and multiplayer sounds has been completed. We had heard about that previously. Um, stats page added to the tablet. Custom carbon air temperature modeling now. So they're really putting a lot of effort into trying to get this aircraft just as realistic as they possibly can. Uh, working yoke and drop tanks release button. So there's a release button on the yoke that allows you to release the drop tanks, uh, which is uh, these guys right under here. Uh, so really stoked about that. We'll have to try to remember to change or uh, check that out. I always forget every time I see things like that. I get so wrapped up into flying this thing, I forget the other things. Um, let's see our fixed pedal app animation, VR yoke support, autopilot keybinds and hardware support, and a bunch of other goodies according to the developer. Link to purchase this aircraft can be found down below. Now, let's go ahead and jump into the seat here, and we're just going to get it started, folks. I'm literally just going to do a control E. Alright, so there's engine one ready, engine two is ready. Let's come up top here and close the canopy. Lock that window. Okay, windows are locked. Roll up the windows here. I love all the features of this aircraft. It's just too much fun. And let's just go for a quick flight. We're just going to go up, have a quick tour around the uh, the area here. We're on the uh, coast of Florida. Nowhere fancy. Just a fun little place to tool around, really. Prop and mixture. Woo! -hoo -ah. Oh, are we muddling both throttles here? We are indeed. When did that happen? Interesting. All right. Well, that's totally fine. Now I do have to make sure. Let me change my profile. I think my spad.next is on the wrong profile. Do 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 do. Hope you guys are all doing well. Hope you're all ready for Christmas. It is right around the corner, guys. Just a couple days left. Um, did my spad crash? That would be a problem. All right, guys. So I'm going to come right back to this. Oh, no, it didn't. There it is. I'm starting to think my spad. Next crashed. All right. What do we got here? Oh, no, we don't want that. We want complex. There we go. Okay. Let's try that again. There we go. There's that. There's that. Mixture set. All right. And now the final thing is to just simply... Get our head tracker rolling. We're ready to go. All right, how are we going to get out of here? There are aircraft all over the place here. Um, I don't think we're going to worry about the tug. We're just going to sort of cross the taxiway. Nobody's watching, right? We're just going to we're just going to take her on out here. Nobody's watching. It's just us, guys. It's just us. You know, nobody's here. We just get to get up, do what we want, kind of thing, right? You know. This aircraft is so fantastic. Always been my favorite since I was a kid. Just trying to find, let's see here, we need the pitot heat on. And I'm trying to find the lights. We're probably like in the, there we go, that's what I'm looking for. All right, let's get her out of here. Ooh, baby, slow down.
Alright, here we go. One of the best aircrafts you guys could seriously ask for is this beautiful aircraft right here, I'm telling you. Set a better camera view, there we go. Alright, let's monitor airspeed, where are we? Is it? It's altitude, let's set barometric pressure, good. There's airspeed, and we're looking for 80, 80 miles an hour on rotation. Going up. Sixty inches on the manifold pressure. Airspeed alive. There's eighty miles an hour coming back. Easy up, easy up. Gear in transition coming up. Good airspeed continuing. Flaps coming up. And let's bring that manifold pressure back to about 35 inches here. Let's bring the RPMs back to about uh, 2,500. And let's go for a cruise. I am telling you guys, this aircraft is by far my favorite. It is so much fun to fly. I don't know, my camera view was so messed up there. She flies great, she's fast, she's maneuverable, she sounds amazing, she looks amazing. I mean, look at this thing. It's absolutely fantastic. I mean, there's just no argument with that. So much detail put into this aircraft. She always flies and sounds so amazing. I've seen this aircraft fly in real life once and it was like awe-inspiring. I was so, so stoked the day this aircraft released from Microsoft Flight Simulator. She's so much fun. And that's really all I am here to do today, guys. Just to give you a showcase, remind you guys this aircraft's out there. A uh, link to it will be down in the description below. We're going to go and go for a landing so I can show you guys what that's like. Um, but after that, nothing too fancy here. I just wanted to give you guys an idea of how truly amazing this aircraft is. And uh, Flying Iron Simulations did a fantastic update with the uh, Spitfire last week. And the update with the P-38 Lightning is no different. I mean, it's just, it's already... It was already in great condition, in my opinion, but uh, definitely the tuning to the sounds and some of the texturing you can totally see and really just further enhances the quality of this aircraft. It's really, really a pleasure to have. This was definitely one that I have never regretted purchasing. Alright, so let's bring it in here. We're going to descend a bit. Watching that airspeed. What did we say? 250 miles an hour was our restriction for flaps one. So we're going to go flaps one again. Here it comes. Start using that to help us bring it in. Sort of monitoring our airfield over there. That perpendicular there. Hundred and seventy miles an hour was our gear limit. So we're still too high for that, so I'm gonna just do a quick right hand traffic here, come around. This plane is fun to just cruise, do a little hopping nearby cities sightseeing. It's just a great aircraft. You get that real nostalgia going on with it. VR is an absolute blast and I love flying this one in VR. <clears throat> I 
and she's fun to fly. Like I said, she's pretty forgiving, honest to God. Uh, got the counter rotating props, which is always awesome. There we go. There's the next set of flaps. And gear coming down. Should help with the uh, airspeed quite a bit. Looking for 110. Flaps coming in. Going back to uh, max RPM here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And coming down with something, man. tripping out. Head tracker was losing it there for a minute. Trimmed up, nose trimmed up. You can see the way she's flying and handling. She keeps you busy. Coming in a little hot, a little high. Pulling some power off here. baby. Oh, goodness, goodness. She accelerates so fast. Oh! <laughs> there she goes. All right. All right, guys. Well, unfortunately, it just dawned on me that I did not get the recording of the tanks dropping off the um, under the wings by pushing the buttons on the yoke. But as you can see, those drop tanks that we had earlier are missing. And all you have to do is bring your yoke up and tap these guys right here. You can see both buttons depressed, and boom, those tanks are gone. So again, another fun little feature uh, that was added to this particular aircraft. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below, especially if you guys have this aircraft already. Share the good news with everybody else. Um, Flying Iron Simulations, as always, outdoing it um, and really making these aircraft absolutely fantastic. So continue the hard work. We absolutely love it and appreciate it in the community. And until next time, guys, I will see you in the next one. Be safe.